Hello everybody, this is Jared. I uh, am doing my spindle replacement. All right, so there's two spider nuts here. Then you have your pulley, then you have a, a gear, and then you have this spacer. But you have to take the, the keyway out and you just put vice grips on it and just tap on the vice grips and it comes right out. It is a little, a little bit on there. I tried to, with a screwdriver to kind of tap it up, it wouldn't do that. So just get around it with some vice grips and then tap the vice grips to make it come out. So then this other collar should come off. So the spacer here. And I do have replacement bearings and the whole thing because you know I kind of complained about you know this thing all, all through the oilers and every inside the bearings, everything was just full of chips. I mean, this, this is my doing, but it might as well came from in there. It was just, you know, they, they didn't clean it out before they put it together. Their final assembly was... Uh, careful of that. I've already lost one of the spider nuts. i got to go on a hunt for it in my mess pile. I was trying to have my little, my little kiddo help me uh, <laughs> put the impact gun on here with uh, <laughs> my four... A little, my four lug wrench for off-road thing, I kind of machined it down so it'll fit on there, and uh, it wasn't the best idea, but uh, if you just kind of, just a just little blip is all you need if you make something like this, or if you have some other kind of thing, that's fine. But uh, anyways, I, uh, I'm going to stop this uh, recording for now, and I'm just going to drive this out. All it is is two tapered bearings, you know, these, yeah, these should... I don't have anything else in the way now. There's one on both sides, and these this, they're like big washers, but maybe I can't do this to show you really easily. old one or not I'm still gonna kind of keep this as a spare to uh, to have just for whatever reason so uh, you just use a soft mallet you know or some sort of a wood block spacer thing or something like that just so you don't bang everything up and I did kind of put this back together that way but then I, uh, I made like a I just made a, I just got a bar stock and I just threaded the ends. You could probably use thread all if you find that big enough size. It was like, uh, I think it was five eighths that I used, but maybe I can get this out of here sometime today. I'm just trying to show a little something here. You can kind of get the the picture. So, and then you just have tapered bearings in here, and I'll just pause this. I'll just tap this out so I don't have to try to hold this at the same time. I don't want things to go flying and come down and hit my ways or anything. But I'll tap this out, and so you can see the 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 bearings themselves and how or how everything kind of just sits on there and stuff so so give me just a second here okay well I got it out here and it's probably a good thing that I uh here it roll yeah all my roller bearings came out uh, if I put it in and out a couple times, if it had something to do with it. I mean, I did try to tighten it down, thinking, so put it in there. Because obviously, you're not going to tell you how much to, to certainly tighten it. And I could actually flex it this way, so I went a little bit tighter. But, so I don't know if it started, if I made it bend because of that. But, I do have an arbor. I can cinch it, cinch it down. I'm going to probably to try to put a certain amount of tension on it and stuff and I don't just don't think uh, even after I put all the oil stuff through it 
that, I mean, I just kept flooding oil through it to, to get all the stuff out of it. But bearing, bearings or not, I was kind of worried about it. Well, maybe, maybe not. They are hard material and even the little chips or whatever, probably not that big a deal. But it, it felt kind of, you know, I don't know. Maybe I over tightened when I put it in there. Thinking that was causing me some other issues. I just didn't have it tight enough, so I tied a little bit tighter. Unless this is just really cheap bearing, but I've gotten some these bearings some on different things on vehicles and stuff tight pretty tight before way tighter than that. And uh I haven't had any issues. They could just be you know cheaper. It's like a first time I've ever done anything like that. I did pull it out the first time and didn't do that. Of course I just undid it, I didn't tighten it first. But anyways, so I got to get a, I got some other tools. I have to find the right size, but I'm going to take the, the races out of there, the outer races, and tap those out so I can put the new ones in. But yeah, they just sent me new bearings to go along with this, so I'm just going to go with this and just start fresh with the, the new spindle, because I have a new one here, and... I do have some other old pictures. I did mess around with this, but obviously, let me get a good focus on here. See, that surface is a lot better. I put a, a straight edge across here, and it looks a lot better. I did grind this. I did, I did, I'll have, you've probably already seen those other videos, but I did try to do my uh, post grinder, and the surface did come out pretty good, but I don't know if I just still don't have this thing quite dialed in. Uh, come on, focus. Oh, why in the world do I focus now? Yeah, see, it's it's got a different kind of finish. I didn't keep working with it. I was going to think about trying to work with a smaller grit stone maybe. Maybe that one wasn't as small as I thought it was. I did get it pretty smooth, but it's still got a conical thing to it. So I'm just, I got work to do, so I'm not going to keep messing with this. I have it as a spare if I need it ever for whatever reason. I don't think it's too often that you have to replace this. Once you get it in there, it's in there for good. So I'll just, whatever. I'll just still have it for whatever. But anyways, that's where I'm at next, so uh, I'm going to turn this off and pick this up later. Uh, I'm going to press those races out, tap them out. I'm going to go find my, uh, my, my bearing driver pieces and whatever, find the right thing to get that out with. And uh, I'll pick it up later. Thank you.